Avilio. Welcome wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day in visiting my channel, Wands and Reviews. Bellatrix Lestrange was a British witch, cousin to Regulus and Sirius Black, and the elder sister of Andromeda Tonks and Narcissa Malfoy. Yes, she was a member of the House of Black, an old wizarding family, one of the Sacred 28. The Sacred 28, according to the author of The Pure Blood Directory, widely believed to have been cantankerous not the 28 British families that were still truly pure blood by the 1930s. Bellatrix started her education at Hogwarts and she was sorted into Slytherin House. After she graduated and Voldemort rose to power, she became one of his Death Eaters along with her husband Rodolphus. Becoming a powerful and dangerous witch proficient in the dark arts, a skilled duelist, and experienced oculumens during the first wizarding war after the defeat of Voldemort from the infant Harry Potter, Bellatrix and her husband remained loyal to Voldemort. They avoided capture and kidnapped Alice and Frank Longbottom. Along with other Death Eaters, they tortured them with the Cruciatus Curse for any information about Voldemort so that they might revive him. Eventually, they were caught and sent to Azkaban prison. Years later, when Voldemort was reborn, he said to Bellatrix and to all of those who remained loyal to him that they should be rewarded. A mass breakout from Azkaban prison was orchestrated. Bellatrix was once again on the loose, doing Voldemort's bidding. She participated in the Battle of Mysteries, where she murdered her cousin, Sirius Black. She was with the group of Death Eaters who attacked the Order of the Phoenix during the Battle of the Seven Potters. When Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger were caught and brought to Malfoy Manor, she was there. She tortured Hermione Granger and asked her how did they acquire the Sword of Gryffindor that was to be in Bellatrix's vault at Gringotts. Harry and Ron broke free, stunning those in the room, disarming them. All those who have been captured escaped Malfoy Manor along with Bellatrix Lestrange's wand. This is the wand of Bellatrix Lestrange from the Noble Collection. Constructed by Garrick Ollivander, he described this wand as unyielding, measuring in at 13.5 inches in total length. As you can see, the wand has a unique shape. It is curved, meant to resemble a bird's talon. The shaft of the wand is pointed, dark in color, and fairly simple. It tapers open as you reach the sculpted wide head handle that brings a curve to the wand. On the opposite side of the wand, it is embellished with artistic carvings. The wand does not feel natural in the hand from its shape. It would make it hard to point and cast spells, 
Maybe that is why the wand is described as unyielding. The details of the wand are good and resemble what we see in the films. Only a dark witch like Bellatrix Lestrange could master a wand such as this. Unlike other wands, Bellatrix's wand is unique in its design. I think a wand like this would be annoying to carry around since it's not straight shafted like most standard wands. I don't think it'd fit easily into a standard wand pocket and I think it'd probably fall out or just get in the way. Maybe that is why the Noble Collection decided not to make this a regular wand for purchase, but rather a wand display. Here is my Bellatrix Lestrange wand display from the Noble Collection. The display board is made of wood and painted matte black with a glossy vine design. It features a nameplate with Bellatrix's Lestrange's name. There's also a miniature replica of Bellatrix's Death Eater mask on the display. This is the same Death Eater mask that comes with the discontinued Death Eater mask collection, just in a slightly different shade of color. To finish off the display, the wand sits nicely within two hooks. Here is what the display looks like hanging on my wall. The bird skull necklace does not come with it. Overall, I think the Noble Collection did a good job in creating Bellatrix's wand display. It would look nice hanging up with her full-size Death Eater mask that is also available from the Noble Collection. If you would like to add this wand display or her Death Eater mask to your own collection, you can do so by purchasing them directly from the Noble Collection website along with other items. Or, if you do not want to purchase the wand display and you just like to purchase the wand on its own, you now have the opportunity to do so from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video review today. If so, please click on that thumbs up button and if you would, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your family and your friends. Thank you, and until next time, don't be a witch like Bellatrix.